and uh, this table would be like the who is the co-organizer of the conference. Most of you met her last night, that's just for those who arrived in the morning. She comes from the University of Huelva and you've seen her all along for three days. And then we have Celia um, Vázquez, uh, who is the head of the Department of English, French and German, where I work, so she is my direct boss. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the uh, director of Campus of Excellence, Campus of uh, Campus Lomar, Campus of the Sea, Emilia Fernandez, who is uh, helping to he's helping us in this project on global cultures in different ways. One of the this conference, but he's also helping to get funding for other events that we are organizing. So thank you. And we have uh, our dean, with, um, Rosna, she's the dean of the Faculty of Philology and Translation. Okay. So I'm going to pass the um, microphone to Pilar first, and then we have uh, Celia, and then Rosna, and then Emilio doing the official evaluation. Gracias. Good día. Good morning. Uh, it's a great pleasure for us to welcome you all to the second Canada and Beyond seminar. And it's a particularly a nice thing because we are meeting with old friends and making some new ones. We hope. Um, as you probably know, this seminar is part of a joint venture carried out by the two universities of Vigo and Huelva and consisting of seminars such as this every other year, alternatively held either in Vigo or in Huelva, plus an online journal entitled Canada and Beyond. Um, I think Guillermo has passed around some flyers with information about the, uh, the journal, and we hope that you will help us with this uh, venture by circulating all the papers, by showing your backpack <laughs> everywhere you go, and of course by submitting your own work. Um, I'd also like to express my gratitude um, to the beautiful city of Vigo for this wonderful venue, for this conference, uh, to the University of Vigo and to the Campus Lomar, and most of all to my colleague, Belen Martilugas, who this time has had to bear the lion's share of the work um, to put together this conference. Thank you. Gracias. Good morning, dear colleagues. Uh, as the head of the Department of English, French, and German Philology, uh, it gives me an immense pleasure to welcome you here today. Uh, it is an honor for our university and for Vigo to uh, hold a single conference that unites Canada and Vigo from sea to sea to sea and beyond. <laughs> we are delighted that so many experts in Canadian studies from Europe and Canada uh, have come from near and far to participate in this conference, present our papers, and um, I think that uh, there will be something of interest for everyone with such a variety of um, uh, interesting uh, topics uh, for discussion with sessions with attractive titles, uh, fascinating I think, such as uh, seas of poetry, oceans of language, <laughs> and the beauty of people with its inlets to the name um, uh, from the sea that has also uh, poetic sweetness, its mysteria, the longest and deepest of the Rias Baixas, and the islands called by Roman Dreamy, uh, the islands of the gods. So if you have time, go and visit them, it's worthwhile. Um, the organizing committee has tried to coordinate uh, everything, uh, I mean academics and pressure, with a fervent desire to make every, everybody stay uh, comfortable and pleasant. I would like to pass on my congratulations to them and as wishes for the success of this uh, academic event. 
And finally, I would like to express my appreciation to all of you, finalists, especially in Indian studies. Uh, you can hope for. Uh, I'm sure that everyone here will help to make this conference, uh, will, help, sorry, will help make this conference uh, a great success. So um, thank you for coming and welcome to you again. Buenos días, bienvenidas, bienvenidas, buenos días. Como decana de la Facultad de Filología y Traducción, eh, me siento muy satisfecha de estar esta mañana aquí dando la bienvenida. Quiero agradecer a las organizadoras de, del Congreso que me hayan invitado. Quiero decir que para nosotros es un orgullo de esta, que este segundo encuentro de, de sobre Canadá y más allá tenga lugar en nuestra ciudad, en, 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 nuestra, en nuestra universidad. Eh, quiero decir también que eh, me parece que eh, el tiempo nos acompaña, el tiempo meteorológico, eso es una suerte, en las tardes y días de frío y lluvia. Esto aunque parece eh, un, un detalle relevante, no sé, porque creo que les va a permitir disfrutar de nuestra ciudad, disfrutar de las, de las jornadas y estar más a gusto, conocer las ciudad, los alrededores. Eh, no sé si tendrán la oportunidad de conocer nuestro, nuestro campus, también tenemos un, un bonito campus un poco alejado del centro de la ciudad, porque esto seguramente una organización ha decidido eh, hacer clientes aquí. Y, y por mi parte nada más, espero que estas eh, jornadas sean de mucho, de mucho provecho, espero que todo esté a su gusto, eh, y, y nada más decirles que nosotros estamos aquí para ayudar en lo que podamos, para colaborar y para contribuir a que todo salga lo mejor posible. Muchas gracias. Thank you for the translation and the words. Uh, she is welcoming you to the city of Lima, to our university. She is very proud that we are having this conference here in Vigo. And she wishes you all um, very and she mentions that we are being very lucky with the weather because it was awful <laughs> to last week since April. So she is glad that uh, the weather will be nice so you can enjoy the city because it does make a difference you know, when you have the rain <laughs> all day. So she thinks that uh, this will help you to enjoy the conference both on the academic and on the more touristic side. And she invites you to visit our campus, which is quite far from Vigo, it's half an hour by car or less, but it's a very, very beautiful one. It's in the midst of the hill, uh, in the middle of the hills, and it's, it's a beautiful landscape. So she will like you to uh, you have the time to visit the campus as well. Okay. Thank you. Buenos días. Good morning. Welcome to all of you to our city, Igo. Uh, on behalf of uh, the president of our university that uh, couldn't come to this uh, opening of this meeting, uh, welcome again to this city. Vigo is a marine and a maritime city. Historically, it's very closely linked to the oceans. Uh, large number of uh, people from this uh, city uh, travel to America several times in our history due to different reasons, political, uh, etc. And even from the economic, from the economic point of view, a quite large fraction of our economy is supported by the sea. For example, you are today in the largest fishing port in Europe. Most, uh, we have a sea building activity uh, very active. You, you would see in, the, in our, uh, our coastal area how many, you would see several enterprises devoted to this kind of activity. Most of the uh, oceanographic vessels in the world are being built in For example, the largest ship in the vessel of the United Kingdom, Qatar, Mexico, etc. Uh, uh, 
as the lens, uh, this uh, meeting is being supported by Campus Romar. Campus Romar is a strategic consortium of universities, research centers, and technology centers, all of them related to the marine and maritime activity, trying to gain understanding on how the oceans behave, how they function, how, how they are organized. As you can imagine, in most of our uh, research is focused on science and technology. But uh, humanities also form a, a nuclear part of our project. For example, this weekend, in a very nice island in the, in the middle of the environment, uh, a group of uh, lecturers from the arts uh, faculty met together with uh, scientists and technologists trying to look for creative spaces for the interaction of uh, science, technology, and arts. And uh, this meeting today uh, focus on literature and uh, on the interaction between different continents in the ocean is part of this kind of mission, vision we have that uh, if we are to understand how the ocean functions, we need to know the science of the ocean, we need to know about the technology of the ocean, but, but we do need to know about the culture that is associated to marine and maritime acti activities. Let me, let me uh, congratulate uh, the organizing committee and in particular the name who have been working very hard in these uh, months, I guess, trying to put together this very, very nice uh, meeting. I look forward to we you could have a quite uh, hard uh, working this, but I would ask her and the organizing committee just to schedule some free uh, time. <laughs> We take advantage of this very nice weather that is not very uh, usual in this part of the world. Thank you. Thank you very much and welcome again to our city and to our community.